please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So I do wish uh, everyone a happy Thanksgiving, and of course we gathered together this morning to recognize that part of our day, of course part of our Thanksgiving, is to give thanks to God. Let us prepare our hearts to enter the sacred mysteries by recalling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Father, all-powerful, your gifts of love are countless and your goodness infinite. As we come before you on Thanksgiving Day with gratitude for your kindness, Open our hearts to have concern for every man, woman, and child, so that we may share your gifts in loving service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. And now, bless the God of all, who has done wondrous things on earth, who fosters people's growth from their mother's womb and fashions them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart, and may peace abide among you. May his goodness towards us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. The word of the Lord. Thanks.
A reading from St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge. As the testimony to Christ was confirmed, among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten persons with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed, and one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice, and he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we gather this morning, either in person or by live streaming, we do so because we recognize we have a desire and a need to give thanks on this Thanksgiving Day to God. Even during this time of pandemic, which calls us to trust and to a greater faith, we know giving thanks is still important. We are here to honor with grateful hearts what God has done for us on a daily basis. Very often in our lives, we spend much time bringing to the Lord our petitions or our intercessions. When we go into prayer, many times we pray for God to help us, maybe with a difficulty that we are going through or to help us with maybe a family situation. But what happens over and over again as we see that God has been responding to our prayers? We hear in our gospel today, has none but this foreigner give thanks to God? Jesus' comment about the other nine lepers implies that something was missing, that to give thanks to recognize the gratitude that we are to give to the Lord is something important in our relationship with God. It is a sign of faith that we acknowledge that God provides, that God is among us. It is a realization of our dependence on God, that we do everything that we have, even though we've been able to cooperate with maybe the gifts God has given us, everything ultimately is because of God's grace. And we are called to give thanks, hopefully something that we do on a more daily basis than uh, just simply this special day. So themes of giving thanks, they're found often in the Bible, which makes sense if it is, of course, nature for us to give thanks to God who created us, who gives us everything. In our Psalm today, Psalm 145, we hear, Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord. For we give thanks since we recognize that we share in those fruits of the works of the Lord. And Paul, in all of his letters that he writes to his communities, he always gives thanks to God. Uh, But also he gives thanks for the, the blessings that God has given to them in that particular community. 
In the second reading, Paul says, I give thanks to my God that in him you were enriched in every way. So he recognizes that we not only give thanks to God um, for ourselves, but also maybe for our community, our families, that God has been with them as well. Finally, our liturgical prayers today also point us not only to recognize that we are to give thanks for the many blessings God has given us, but those prayers also recognize that we are called to sh be sharing those gifts that we have received. So we not only receive them, but hopefully we also share them, especially with those in need. So let us give thanks today that through our baptism, we have been given new life. And that means we can always give thanks that even when we stray, we can be reconciled to God. And that is something that we can so much give thanks that we know that God is always with us. And even when we falter or we stray, we know that God is always there to receive us. Also, we can give thanks by the gift of faith that we are drawn over and over again from the dark, out of darkness into God's marvelous light. So he renews our life during all circumstances. So this day is a short time out of our, maybe um, our busy day, just to say thank you to the Lord. Thank you for all the blessings that he's given us. Thank you for keeping our faith strong as we go through these trials that we may be given. The Eucharist means thanksgiving. So may God bless you this day, and through this Eucharist, may we give thanks for the many blessings God has given us, his children. In gratitude for God's blessings upon us, in trust, let us bring our prayers and our intercessions. For the church throughout the world, that we will welcome the lost, the stray, the weak, and the wounded, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the nations of the world, including our own, that they may bring peace and prosperity for all people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the most rejected and neglected people in our world, that charity from those who have will draw them into the kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are not able to receive the precious body and blood of our Lord during this time, that they may feel his presence within them through prayer, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and who are dying, and for those names written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have gone before us to their heavenly reward, especially those names placed at the foot of the altar, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the people of St. Jude whom this Mass is intended, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we give you thanks for giving us this time to, for us to express our gratitude to you, that you are with us at all times. We ask you to receive the prayers that we bring you to respond to them according to your divine will. We ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. God our Father, from whose hand we have received generous gifts, so that we might learn to share your blessings in gratitude. Accept these gifts of bread and wine, and let the perfect sacrifice of Jesus draw us closer to all our brothers and sisters in the human family. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, you have entrusted to us the great gift of freedom, a gift that calls forth responsibility and commitment to the truth that all have a fundamental dignity before you. In Jesus, through his death and resurrection, we find our ultimate redemption, freedom from sin, and every blessing. And so with hearts full of love, we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church but throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That is the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph and spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be coerced with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Our Bishop, Bishop Burns, has decreed those receiving Holy Communion are strongly encouraged to receive Communion on the hand. For those who wish to receive on the tongue, I ask that you please receive Communion after Mass. The priest or deacon will be in the center aisle to distribute the body of Christ. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart, and I unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. In this celebration, O Lord our God, you have shown us the depths of your love for all your children. Help us, we pray, to reach out in love to all your people so that we may share with them the good things of time and eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. So before the final blessing, just to uh, wish you a very happy Thanksgiving and may God be with you. May you recognize God's presence with you as we give thanks today. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.
glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.